Now, before I start this video, I want to make one thing very clear. PowerPoint is not Photoshop. If you need to do some serious photo editing and image manipulation, then Photoshop is definitely going to be your best bet. However, there are a few little things that we can do in PowerPoint to really up the ante when it comes to our images. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can remove the background from a picture, give you a few little tips and tricks when it comes to selecting images, and we're going to create ourselves a really nice composite image. So if that sounds like something that you want to know how to do, then keep watching. So in a previous video, I showed you how to crop and fill a background. And you can see here we have a background of a nice jungle scene. Now, what does a jungle scene require? Well, maybe it requires a bird. Let's let's add a bird, shall we? <laughs> Why not? Now, once again, I've gone on to Pexels and I've already downloaded an image of a kingfisher. So let's open him up and take a look at him. I'm going to jump up to insert into pictures. I've got it saved off to my downloads folder. So let's grab it from there. There he is. Very, very cute. Now, this brings me on to my first point. When you want to use the remove background tool in PowerPoint, it's really important that you're quite careful about the images that you select. For example, this picture of a kingfisher has a reasonably plain background. It's not a busy background. And this tool works a lot better the cleaner and plainer the background of your image is. So just bear that in mind when you're thinking about the types of images you want to use in your presentation. Now, the remove background tool itself is pretty straightforward to use. We just need to make sure that we're clicked on the image. Siren, sorry. It's like Crime Central where I live. <laughs> OK, they've gone now. Right. The background remover tool in PowerPoint is pretty simple to use. We jump up to the picture format tab. We have remove background. It's the first icon on the ribbon. So let's click remove background and PowerPoint is going to do its best to try and work out what image you're trying to cut out of the background. And you can see here it hasn't done the best job. Everything that's showing in purple is basically what it's going to remove and everything else it's going to keep. So if I was just to save this now, it's going to cut off this kingfisher's head. I'm going to have a big old bit of yellow just here that I don't want. So I need to make some modifications. So if we now take a look at the background removal ribbon at the top, we can choose to mark areas we want to keep and mark areas to remove. So let's start with the areas to keep. Let's click on the button. You can see now my cursor changes to a small little pencil and I just need to draw a line over the areas that I want to keep in the image. So let's go up to the top of his head and let's just drag a line across here. And you can see that the selection adjusts to include that part. Now I'm going to do that on every single part of this image that I actually want to keep. So all of these purple bits I want to keep. I also want to keep the log that he's sitting on. So let's draw that down there. And there we go. That's pretty decent. The next thing I need to do is remove this yellow. So I'm going to click on mark areas to remove. And I'm just going to draw a big old line across this yellow section. And now the selection has readjusted. If I was really paying attention to detail, there's a little bit of yellow down here underneath his leg. I could sort of do that and also get rid of that as well. Now, once I'm happy, I can click on keep changes and everything in purple is going to be removed, leaving me with a really nice and pretty decent looking cut out image. So now that I have him, I can simply control C to copy him and I'm going to jump over here and I'm going to put him on this background and put him down in the corner, which just gives this really nice composite image effect. And I'm sure there's many different designs you can think of where this is actually going to be really useful. So that's how the background remover tool works in PowerPoint. It's a really fun little tool. My key takeaway here is just be pretty mindful of the images that you're selecting and try and select something that has a reasonably plain background and then you're going to get good results. If you like this video, then smash that old like button. Give me a little follow and I will see you in the next one.